right. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? Uh, all right. So this video is going to be going out for everyone, whether you're in my class or not. So if you are not in my class, hey, welcome to the show. Um, what I'm going to do today is talk a little bit about the rule of the th rule of thirds when you're taking pictures in photography with a camera or painting, I guess, too. Yeah. So that's really where it came from originally. So that's one of the things that I'm going to focus on today. That, that is the thing I'm going to the only thing I'm going to focus on today. Uh, so if you are in the class, great, watch the video and it will be just a review of what I talked about in class, but I think it's a big enough issue, big enough concept to, that it's worth, uh, having something that you can go back and look at again. All right. Yeah. Let's get started. So, uh, what we're going to do is a short overview, pretty short overview of what the rule of thirds is. So let's take a look. Uh, this is a playground. <laughs> Yay. And if you look at the picture here, right, the blue climbing thing, whatever that is, is the main pole is at roughly one third of the way into the picture, roughly. And you can see the rest of the playground around in the back. So I took this picture the other day. I'm, it's, I'm all right with it. It's pretty good, de pretty decent. Um, but it gives you an example of what happens with rule of thirds or uh, how rule of thirds kind of works. Um, the main thing to remember is the rule of thirds is a place to start when you're taking pictures. So a lot of times when you first start taking pictures, you just point the camera at something and then start clicking the button and that's fine. And you can get some okay pictures that way. But if you use the rule of thirds, that way you can start to think about what's actually happening in the picture. What are the people who are looking at the picture going to start thinking about? Uh, and it also helps put your subject in context. So this one is a pretty small picture, but still there's some interesting things going on here, right? So the, we got the orange reflector there and it's... Uh, the main thing that your eye is drawn to in the picture it's on that rule of thirds line and roughly between the middle two lines but what's going on with that post in the background right so it's a little out of focus and that's fine uh and that's actually that was the choice but it gives you the reason this reflector is there because looks like a car hit that at some point and so you can start to make a story and start to think a little bit about what's going on in this neighborhood, right? So that's, it's, an, it's interesting. It, it adds context to the, the larger scene. Why is that post there with the reflector on it? Because that big wall would do bad things to a car, right? But the biggest thing to remember about the rule of thirds is it's just a place to start. It's not the end. So you need to think about that as a, uh, a way to begin to take pictures that have some meaning and some depth to them, right? The rule of thirds in general is you take the photograph that you're going to have and you divide it into thirds, one space on the left, one in the middle, one on the right, one on the top, one in the middle, one on the bottom. And you line stuff up on those red, uh, lines there. And uh, you use that as a basis to compose, to put all the stuff in your picture that you want to keep in your picture, right? So by putting the, the, the subject of the photo on one of the third lines, it's one of those third lines, it's going to give the, the subject more context in the world. So you can see more about what's happening around whatever it is that you're taking the picture of. Um, Usually put the subject of or the photo on one of the third lines, either this way or this way, depending. One of the horizontal lines usually is going to be used for uh, the horizon, so where the sky and the land meet. Now, the ex an exception to this is in symmetry, but that's going to be a different video. Those lines are going to be in the middle. Uh, but these allow to have you get you a little bit more sky or a little bit more uh, land, and again, puts everything a little bit more in context in the world, right? So, um, and where those lines meet, that's usually where I put my eyes, right? So if I have a subject who's looking at the camera, I like to put my eyes and the, the bilateral 
line in the middle uh and the that intersection ends up like right right on the bridge of their nose ish so usually when you move them to the left or to the right a little bit but usually always make sure they're looking either into the frame or directly at the camera and uh it will give you a uh, a nice picture so let's take a look at one all right so this is a picture i took in the spring um the main focus of the photo is let's make sure i got the light on is this uh this flower here right but by putting in the rule of thirds i can see how much of the plant there is whether it's this big plant or a small plant right and uh, it also puts it in context in the rest of the world. This is a, a house and some uh, bars on the windows and, or yeah, bars on the windows, yeah. And then, uh, you know, a nice concrete wall and there's some other flowers and greenery around it. But it puts it into perspective, right? And so if we look at this, go here and here and here in here so you can kind of get a good idea of how i framed this with the rule of thirds in mind you do not always have to follow the rule of thirds you don't always follow the rule of thirds because it's more it's less of a rule than it is a guideline but it's a good place for people to start and when you start thinking about it that way it gives you a place to expand when you break the rule of thirds you're doing it for a reason right and so when you use the rule of thirds you're doing it for a reason and that get lets the more you think about uh how you have your photos set up uh the better you're going to end up uh the, the nicer picture you're going to end up with more interesting picture you're going to end up with all right let's get rid of these lines and move on to the next one so i took a drive out to Shigaraki the other day and this one also is using rule of thirds so we got the car here that's going to be my main subject but it's kind of fighting with the big tanuki laying down in the background there so uh let's take a look at, at what I did here where is this at it's going to be about here and about here and roughly in here roughly I mean I've got to do it freehand so all right so what do we got um Again, like I said, around the face, the eyes and the and the and the nose and the mouth, that's where that rule of thirds line is going to fall. This one and this one, and it's on the intersection point. The well, I did a really bad job drawing this one. The Tesla logo is actually pretty close to the rule of thirds line on the bottom too. So, plus um, the nice thing about this is I still have these nice mountains in the background. There's still some interesting stuff going on back here. Uh, the lighting on this this photo is not great because the car's in in the shadow. <laughs> but I only had a couple minutes to shoot the picture uh, before somebody came out and yelled at me. So um, there's only so much I could do. But it gives me a way to frame the photo, and so I don't have too much sky, I don't have too much land, but I have this great big old tanuki guy in here, and I have my car uh, in front of that. So. It's not a perfect way to take a picture every time, but it gives you a place to start looking at what should be in the picture and what shouldn't be in the picture. Where should it be? Where shouldn't it be? So the other thing to, to notice on this is the car is looking into the picture, right? Even though he's not, but he's not actually the main subject. The main subject of this one is really the car. So, um, I'm kind of happy with it. I, I really needed light, more light in it for it to be a, a great picture. But but that gives you the general idea of what you need to do uh, to be able to take advantage of the rule of thirds and make your pictures better pictures. And then when you get ready to start breaking the rule of thirds, you'll know why. All right. Y'all have a good one. And I will talk to you later.